President Donald Trump of the United States has done it again. He has once again offered to mediate on Jammu and Kashmir. This is our top story. This hour is speaking to U.S. media. Trump said that he will do his best to mediate on quote unquote the complicated situation. But this is but it's Kashmir, and Kashmir is a very complicated place. And frankly, it's a very explosive situation. I spoke to. Prime Minister Khan, I spoke with uh, yesterday also Prime Minister Modi. They're both friends of mine. They're great people. They're great people, and they love their countries. And they're in a very tough situation. Kashmir is a very tough situation. And, you know, we're talking about this has been going on for decades and decades. But I get along really well with both of them. As you know, Prime Minister Khan was here just recently. And I was with — I'm going to be with Prime Minister Modi. Uh, I'll be with him over the weekend in France. So, I, you know, I think we're helping the situation, but there's tremendous uh, problems between those two countries, as you know. And I will do the best I can to mediate or do something. Uh, great relationship with both of them, but they are not exactly friends at this moment. Complicated situation. A lot has to do with religion. Religion's a complicated subject. Trump's remarks follow his telephone conversation with Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan. During the conversation, Imran Khan repeatedly sought Trump's intervention and mediation in the crisis. India, on the other hand, has maintained that bilateral talks between India and Pakistan on Jammu and Kashmir will only be considered if Khan dialed down the rhetoric. India never asked the U.S. to mediate. But this is not the first time that Trump has made a similar proposal. Last month, Trump claimed that Prime Minister Modi asked him to mediate on Jammu and Kashmir. India categorically denied it. New Delhi has time and again said that Jammu and Kashmir and all bilateral issues between India and Pakistan are governed by the Shimla and Lahore agreements under which no third party mediation will be allowed. Now, India has maintained that any discussion on Jammu and Kashmir will take place bilaterally and only with Pakistan. Trump's latest comments come just days after the Indian government revoked Article 370, which guaranteed special status to Jammu and Kashmir and bifurcated it into two union territories. The move has clearly rattled Pakistan. Islamabad sought an emergency United Nations Security Council meeting on Jammu and Kashmir last Friday, but four out of the five permanent members of the Security Council did not support Pakistan's contention at the UNSC consultations. For more details, let's quickly go across to our principal diplomatic correspondent, Siddhant Sibyl, who joins us live from New Delhi. Siddhant, by offering to mediate on the Kashmir issue, that too for a third time, this is clearly a backtrack on Donald Trump's part when it comes to uh, the, the Kashmir issue, because let's not forget that India and Pakistan, especially India, has actually reiterated that it's a bilateral issue. Well, it's the third time that the U.S. president has talked about Kashmir, that he's willing to mediate on Kashmir. Of course, it's a U-turn, given the fact that readout from the talks between the, uh, the Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan and the U.S. president clearly mentioned that it's a bilateral issue. But we should remember that this is happening while the Afghan peace uh, process is also underway. The peace process again started with the, the U.S. envoy on Afghanistan, Zalme. Uh, Khalzad will be in Doha and in Kabul. And clearly, the Pakistan clearly wants to extract their pound of flesh from Washington. And maybe that is the reason that the U.S. president uh, has been mentioning about mediation. But what kind of mediation is also a big question in the, on the minds of uh, the policymakers here in Delhi. We know that the Indian prime minister will be going to France for the G7 summit, where he is uh, expected to meet uh, the U.S. president, Donald Trump. Trump. There is, of course, no confirmation right now whether there will be a bilateral meeting by both New Delhi or, or Washington. But, of course, we have seen how the U.S. president uh, uh, saying that he might interact with the Indian prime minister. So that can be crucial for the ties between Washington and New Delhi. We have seen the last time they interacted was on the sidelines of the G20 summit in Osaka, where the focus clearly was on Iran, on 5G, on trade issues. But clearly, since Osaka, a lot of things have happened uh, in the Indian subcontinent, in Washington, and that is why we do expect a lot of uh, developments to happen when both the leaders uh, uh, are likely to meet uh, in France uh, on right. the sidelines of the G7 summit.
Right. As you rightly mentioned, that most leaders, including the Indian Prime Minister and the U.S. President, are expected to meet at the G7 summit in France. What can we expect between India and the United States at the summit? Also, taking into consideration that Pakistan has failed to create a stir, especially after Friday's United uh, Nations Security Council consultations. Well, of course, Islamabad clearly is isolated, whether at the UNSC or by the uh, Islamic uh, community, the Islamic countries as well. Remember, the Indian Prime Minister will be going to UAE and Bahrain before uh, the, his participation at the G7 summit. Uh, clearly shows that uh, growing engagement between India and uh, the Islamic countries. But talking about what will be uh, the core issues when uh, the Indian Prime Minister and the American President sit on the sidelines of the G7 summit. First, of course, uh, the current issue, which is the Kashmir issue, which is uh, being talked about by everyone and uh, uh, what kind of mediation the Americans offer and of course uh, India has reiterated time and again that when it comes to India-Pakistan it's a bilateral issue uh, which goes uh, according to the conventions of Lahore and Shimla and India will not like any third party mediation but other than that the big focus will clearly be on the issue of terrorism and trade two issues which have been do dominating the, the, the talks between both sides uh, trade clearly because it's a contentious issue. We have seen how the US president has been calling India a tariff king uh, and India's uh, special status has also been removed uh, on the trade by the Americans. Uh, India, of course, uh, has been keen to engage, right. has offered a special package as well, but the Americans are not buying that package. They say they're asking India to do more on terror. Uh, India has uh, raised just concerns and uh, terror is something both India and the right. Americans are on the same page. All right, uh, Siddhant, last but not the least, it's important to highlight the fact and it's interesting to note that Donald Trump has called or addressed the Kashmir issue as something which has a lot to do with religion. Now, is he not trying to ratchet up the narrative which, is, which earlier was only limited to terrorism being exported by Pakistan? Well, Donald Trump, what he says is something only he understands. Of course, what he has said today on the lines of religion is something that New Delhi will definitely not like, given the fact that uh, uh, New Delhi uh, uh, has been talking about its secular credentials, uh, India being a secular country, while Pakistan being an Islamic country. Pakistan has been proudly showcasing that how it's an Islamic country and the rights of minorities in Pakistan, of course, uh, being denied for uh, just not for a few years, for last 70 years. Uh, of course, if this this is raised by the American president with the Indian Prime Minister. The Indian Prime Minister is going to clearly talk about uh, uh, the secular credential and how the minorities are safe here in uh, India. And we have seen in past as well how there have been cases emerging from Pakistan, especially southern Pakistan in Sindh, that uh, the Hindus being uh, targeted by the community there. We just saw earlier this year uh, the, how Hindu girls were kidnapped by uh, the hardliners there. So that uh, is something that New Delhi has been highlighting and this is expected to be highlighted by the Indian Prime Minister when he sits with the US President. But by and large, what he has said today is something mm. kind of controversial. It is indeed controversial and he's forgetting that terror and talks cannot go hand in hand. And this has been India's stand and will remain India's stand for now. Thank you so much, Siddhan Sibal, for bringing us all the latest on.